Hi everyone, I'm Lynn Ilukan from Springburn University of Technology, Australia. The topic of my presentation is Planning and Implementation of the Cloud Knowledge Integration Service System for e-learning using cloud environment. Objective and Authors The objective of this paper is to examine the possibilities of planning and implementation of the Knowledge Integrated Service System of e-learning (KSEL) using cloud environment. Uvini Luptana, Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology, Swinburne University Technology, Australia. Dr. Gamunu Dasanayaka, Depth of Foundation and Pathways, Swinburne University Technology, Australia. Professor Satoru Uzawa, Graduate School of Science and Engineering, Ibraki University, Japan. Professor Atoshi Minato, Graduate Unit School of Science and Engineering, Ibraki University, Japan. Dr. Gihan Dahanayaka, Faculty of Natural Science, The Open University of Sri Lanka. Contents of this presentation. What is KISEL? Activities on KISEL platform. Current status of KISEL project. Recent challenges in KISEL project. Current challenges in online education due to COVID-19. Expanding KISEL server using cloud environment. Feature of cloud computing. Disadvantages of cloud computing. Summary and conclusion. Acknowledgements, references. What is KISEL? E-learning is about bringing education to people instead of bringing people to education. It involves the delivery of content, courses, and training via electronic media such as the internet and intranet. E-learning provides just-in-time training delivery as well as flexible access to lifelong learning. It can help organizations retrain the staff and motivate individuals to upgrade their skills with less disruption to work and family life. The knowledge integration server system of e-learning is focused mainly on Asian Pacific countries. It is a kind of open source program to build and set up communities. The KISEL online course web management system was developed by the research group of the Ibraki University Japan KSL can provide e-learning and information technology-based training through its virtual platform. It is a student-centered e-learning environment that satisfies the learning on demand need of working with IT professionals and reduces the learning time by assembling customized courses on demand to meet specific individual needs. Why KSL is established in Asian Pacific countries? In Asian and Pacific countries, there are a large number of students who like to have opportunities of higher education. However, the capacities of normal courses of universities are limited. For this reason, e-learning courses are especially noted in the countries of this region. Most of the teachers in this region are using text-based teaching materials and the qualities of these teaching materials are very low standard. Therefore, more attractive teaching materials are getting very popular in day-to-day -day teaching process. Therefore, we should encourage teachers in this region to develop more attractive teaching materials. But, unfortunately, the knowledge of making such attractive teaching materials is very low. Therefore, we decide to improve the skills of making high-quality teaching materials and improve the knowledge of basic ICT skills among the teachers community of this region. To overcome this issue, we have chosen a platform. This platform is called the Knowledge Integration Service System for e-learning. The KSEL is Knowledge Sharing Platform e-learning and sustainability sciences which is focused mainly on Asian Pacific countries. The KSEL describes about a web portal service system. The point is that the SEL works as a platform of various helping each other. Activities where the teachers can share the good skills and the experience of e-education which are accumulated in the individual member of the teacher com communities in Asian and Pacific countries. Activities on KISEL platform. On the platform of KISEL, the following activities are enabled. The teachers exchange their ideas and techniques for developing e-learning contents. Libraries of e-learning contents are produced and are open to public. Various open source software is developed for e-learning. From the records of communications between teachers, a FAQ for e-learning is produced. The knowledge on e-learning is systematically integrated. 
Web-based international conferences are organized, which give all teachers opportunities to publish their scientific papers over the internet. Current status of KISA project. In this paper, paper we shared our experiences in designing and implementing our e-learning infrastructure and co content, as well as the practical issues and economics involved in the KISA system. In this stage, we installed servers in Japan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Fiji, Vietnam, and Samoa. It is cost-effective and we required more technical persons to manage and maintain day-to-day -day operation. We are not in a, posi a position to recruit technical persons because of lack of funding status. Problem arising when we implement the KISL system. The first one is internet facilities. Internet facilities are not available in the most of schools in South Asian countries and we were unable to get more attention from the countrywide training program to overcome our objectives. The second one is real IP address. In order to get connected our KISEL server to the internet, we need a real IP address. In Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, it is very hard to get the real IP address. We have to face similar problem in other Asian countries too. Third one was the uninterrupted power supply. We need to set up KSL server and open it up to the world 24 hours. But Asian countries, it was very hard to keep it up after school hours and during weekend. Recent challenges in KSL project. In this presentation, we shared our experiences in designing and implementing our e-learning infrastructure and content as well as the practical issues and economics involved in the KISEL system. In order to overcome these issues, we are planning to move our KISEL server system into cloud-based environment. Current challenges in online education. Due to the recent COVID-19, it has done a greater damage to the world, not only in um, the economic environment, but also in the ac academic arena. This outbreak continues to spread. The governments across the world have resorted to varying levels of public health measures, including movement restrictions, nationwide curfews, travel bans, and border closures to tackle the pandemic. This crisis has exposed the many inadequacies and online education and the supportive environments needed to focus on learning up to the misalignment between the resources and needs. The COVID-19 has resulted in schools and universities at all the world. Globally, over 1.2 billion children and university students are out of the classroom. According to the recent research proposed that online learning has been shown to increase retention of information and it was a significant improvement of online education. In this case, e-learning based teaching has been done significant improvement during past eight months. In this paper, it is going to describe what have the impact occurred of, for education sector and how it overcome through online education. E-learning involves the delivery of contents, courses, and training via electronic media such as internet and intranet. It provides just-in-time training delivery as well as flexible access to lifelong learning. We extremely believe that our KISIL platform is the best solution to discuss issues related to e-learning among teachers community in the world. Expanding KISL server using cloud environment. What is cloud computing used for? In every simply, in very simply, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services including servers, storage, databases, networking, software analytics, and intelligence over the intranet internet to offer fast innovation. Flexible resources and economies of scale, typically you only pay for cloud services you use, helping you lower your operating costs, run your infrastructure and more efficiently and scale as your business needs challenge. What do you mean by cloud computing? Cloud computing is the delivery of the different services through the intra internet. Based storage makes it possible to save files to a remote database and retrieve them on demand. What is cloud computing and how it works? Cloud computing is an application-based software infrastructure that stores data on remote servers, which can be accessed through the internet. The front and enables a user to access data stored in the cloud using 
an internet browser or a cloud computing software. Features of cloud computing When we use the cloud computing, accessibility is a very important factor. Cloud computing facilitates the access of the application and data from any location, worldwide and from any device with an internet connection. Cloud computing also offers businesses with scalable computing resources, hence saving them on the cost of acquiring and maintaining them. We noticed that we can easily identify many valuable features of cloud computing, such as resources pooling. It means the cloud provider pooled the computing resources to provide services to multiple customers with the help of a maintenance model. On-demand sales service, easy maintenance, large network access, availability, automatic system, economical service, high security. Disadvantages of cloud computing. We also have to think about disadvantages of cloud computing. In the near future, after we deploy the Kissel platform in cloud, we are planning to discuss and propose a solution for the given below disadvantages. Disadvantages of cloud computing. Risk of data confidentiality. There is always risk that user data can be accessed by other people. Accessibility depends on internet connection. The level of security, compliance, vulnerable in the event of an attack, data mobility, technical problem, low connection issues. Summary and conclusion. The Knowledge Integration Service System for e-learning is a knowledge sharing platform for e-learning and sustainability sciences, which is focused mainly on Asian Pacific countries and role of the KISL is vital platform in this stage. But it is not limited to the Asian Pacific countries, but also can be used for all over the world. It is a kind of open source program to build and set up communities. The Kissel Online Courseware Management System was developed by the research group of the Ibraki University, Japan. Kissel can provide e-learning and information technology-based training through its vital platform. It is a student-centered e-learning environment that satisfies the e-learning on-demand need of working with IT professionals and reduces the learning time by assembling customized courses on-demand to meet specific individual needs. We also identified the current issues in Kissel platform and our best approach is to implement Kissel system in cloud environment very soon. It is going to examine the possibilities of expanding the Kissel server using cloud environment considering its benefits and performances on cost saving. Reliability, high speed, mobility, unlimited storage capacity, effectiveness of backup and recovery of that. Acknowledgements. I would like to express my deep and sincere gratitude for the founder member of Kissel Project, Emitress Professor Satoru Ozawa of the Ibraki University, Japan. I also would like to thank for giving me the opportunity to do the research and providing invaluable guidance through the research. It was a great privilege and honor to work and study under guidance of following institutes. Graduate School of Science and Engineering of the Ibraki University, Japan, ICAS. Project Ibrak University Japan, FSEP, Swinburne University of Technology Australia, Japan Space Systems, Tokyo Japan. And here are the these are the peer reviewed journal paper which is I used for this study. And these are the international conferences proceedings which I used for this study. And your questions and feedbacks are highly appreciated and kindly email me your ideas and comments. Thank you. I know this international conference aims to bring together industry, academia and professionals to exchange and share their scholarly ideas, research findings or experiences among fellow professionals in the world. I would like to thank for the conference committee giving me this rare opportunity to share my knowledge with fellow professionals. Thank you so much.